So, the second millennium BC, the heyday of the Bronze Age. Powerful, prosperous empires were created the Hittites, Assyria and Babylon Egypt, Crete and Mycenae. Culture and art are developing. Numerous cities and architectural monuments are being built. Trade relations have been established from Altai to Britain. This flourishing lasted for almost a thousand years. And then they came, the peoples of the sea, and everything collapsed. Literally overnight. The famous bronze collapse is probably the first geopolitical catastrophe recorded in history. Literally overnight, from 1266 to 1170 BC, the entire ancient civilization of the Bronze Age in Western Asia and the Mediterranean collapsed. Such powerful states as the Hittite state, Mycenaean Crete, were irretrievably destroyed. Strongly weakened and lost influence, Assyria and Babylon, ancient Egypt. More than 90% of the cities were captured and burned. The capital of the Hittites Hattusas, Mycenae, Troy and many other cities were destroyed forever. The region fell into the Dark Ages for almost 300 years, where all previous cultural achievements were forgotten, from writing to hot and cold water supply in cities. And the reason for these cataclysms is called the invasion of the peoples of the sea, which caused all this disgrace. But who they are, where they came from and why, is still largely a mystery. However, much is already clear. In the 13th century BC, the civilizations of the Mediterranean and Western Asia were in the prime of their prosperity and power. Moreover, there were practically no wars. The last major battle was the Battle of Kadesh between the Egyptians and the Hittites. The battle ended in a draw, and the parties settled their relationship quite peacefully. After that, peace came to the region. It was actually divided between Egypt, the Hittite state, Assyria and Mycenaean Greece. Cities, trade, crafts and agriculture flourished. There were no wars. But at the end of this century, about 1266 BC, something began that people who survived this event called the invasion of the peoples of the sea, and in modern historiography, is called the catastrophe of the Bronze Age. In fact, scientists have very few sources about these events. These are ancient Egyptian written monuments and archaeological research in the Mediterranean and Western Asia. But even such meager data made it possible to obtain a general picture of events. Let's say right away that these were not specialized military campaigns for the sake of booty, but there was a movement, the resettlement of entire peoples, with women, children and all movable property. It began, apparently, in the north of the Balkan Peninsula, and developed mainly in two directions, to Asia Minor and to Greece. I must say that we do not know which people started this movement, but along the way they involved many others in it, the so-called domino effect was obtained. For example, when the Dorians invaded Greece and destroyed Mycenae and the civilization of Crete, they forced the Achaeans to join the movement, who, in alliance with other peoples, had already struck Egypt and the eastern Mediterranean. Moreover, the Dorians and other alien people so completely destroyed the Achaean civilization of Mycenae and Crete that they even forgot writing there, and in the 8th century BC, it had to be reinvented. It was no better in Asia Minor. The peoples who came from the Balkans, with fire and sword, walked through the Hittite Empire, the city-states of the eastern Mediterranean, and even reached Assyria, where such large cities as Sippur and Nippur were completely destroyed. However, Assyria still survived, although it lost a significant part of its territory and influence. But the Hittite state was completely destroyed, and already in 200 to 300 years, no one remembered about it. These two streams of invasion converged in Egypt, which, from the year 1288 to 1175, withstood three blows from the north, from the east, and from the sea. But Egypt resisted, although it lost all possessions in Syria and Palestine. This whole cataclysm took only 30 to 40 years, and in such a short period, all the kingdom states of the Bronze Age were either destroyed or weakened. The only question left is by whom. There are a number of peoples that are quite identifiable, and some are even associated with existing ethnic groups. Phrygians, Philistines, Etruscans, Sardis, Danans are also known from other sources, and much later ones too. They managed to gain a foothold in new territories and remain in history. Dorians and Achaeans are, without any doubt, the ancestors of the ancient and modern Greeks. Moscow, with a high probability, modern science considers the ancestors of the Armenians. The rest disappeared, leaving no trace, except for the ruins of ancient cities, and names in Egyptian sources. 
An interesting question is why all this happened at all. To date, there are two hypotheses climatic and migration. According to the climate hypothesis, this era saw major changes in the climate of Eastern Europe. It has deteriorated so much that many nations simply ran to look for more favorable places to live. Another hypothesis says that the peoples of the sea are the pre-Indo-European peoples of Europe, who, just in the 13th century BC, came under attack from the Indo-European tribes moving from the east from the Black Sea region and fled from them. This, however, is highly debatable. Simply because among the peoples of the sea there are many Indo-European tribes Phrygians, Dorians, Mosque and others. Although there are also enough non-Indo-Europeans, for example, the Pelasgians, the pre-Indo-European inhabitants of Greece. In any case, it was a bloody disaster for the flourishing civilizations of the Bronze Age. The catastrophe that plunged the regions into dark ages when almost all achievements of the past were forgotten.